Let's talk about ligaments and tendons. And I'm hoping this will kind of mesh together some of our previous studies on this particular topic or, or on related topics, okay? So I'm actually going to focus on tendons first. And I think in some ways this will be a great point to start. So I'm, let, me, let, me, let me sort of write in here a little section on tendons, see if I can get you some key details and key understandings for you here. So I'd like to focus on this image on the left-hand side first of all. Let me just show you a tendon first of all. Here, let me do a darker colour than that. Let's go here. Here... Here is a tendon. I'm just sort of sketching around it. Here is a tendon Look, coming all the way down to insert here on the heel. This is a tendon just here. Now, the thing I would uh, encourage you to notice about that tendon, or the first thing I'd encourage you to notice, is that it attaches, uh, it goes in this flow. It goes from a, that was a different colour. It goes from a muscle to a tendon, to D, to a bone okay so that's the first thing to kind of realize we've got a muscle which is here we can describe this as our gastric nemius it then sort of develops into being a tendon it then attaches or we could say inserts onto a bone so that's a real nice point to make secondly if you consider why that is the case this is because the tendon is responsible for what we refer to as force transmission Okay, force transmission. We know from the contractile proteins of muscle tissue that when this muscle contracts is um, isotonically, concentrically, it shortens and pulls up on this tendon. That transmits a force from the muscle via the tendon onto, in this case, the heel. We could call it the calcaneus or the calcaneus, but it's transmitting force from the muscular system to the skeletal system. And I just want to reinforce that point. It attaches from muscle to bone. Why? Because the muscular system generates force and the bone is the thing that we're looking to move. Okay, In this case, the heel would be pulled and the impact of that would be the toes would be pointed down. We could call that in some cases plantar flexion. Okay, Now, where would be examples of these tendons? Well, first of all, they're on every skeletal muscle. Okay, But here's a couple of examples. We've got an Achilles tendon. Okay, that's the one I've just looked at there. This long tendon tissue here. We've got the Achilles tendon. We also have tendons on the biceps. Okay, and in case in the in the, in the insertion in the lower end of the bicep, we haven't got it pictured here. That's shown to the radius, for example. So let's actually put that on bicep, which connects to the radius of the lower arm. We've also got, if I look at the opposite side of that part of the body, we've got the tricep muscle, which connects via a tendon to. Which bone of the other arm? The other one, the ulna. Now, I didn't, I didn't put these images up there, so you can be thinking about that. Now, I want to focus our attention now on ligaments, okay? And you might be sort of thinking about these somewhat interchangeably, but they are not the same, okay? They are not the same. You may have studied in other lessons with us that ligaments are to stabilize joints. And I really want to drill that point home. So how do they work? They connect from bone to ligament. And I don't know if I've kept myself enough space here, but even if I haven't, to bone okay so it's bone to ligament to bone we could simply say they connect bone to bone so i want to look at a couple of examples look these are pictures of two knees from the front on i want to stress to you that this tissue here and here and kind of here all right and we can sort of see it here as well on the side view and here this is not ligament tissue there is a connected tissue but that's actually the synovial cavity in this case of the knee where we want to focus our attention is on structures such as this one here okay this one here okay this is a ligament here you might be able to see that that ligament is spanning the joint and it is providing support and stability okay we've got this bone to ligament to bone structure now a couple of critical points I really want to make here they have no force transmission and what do I mean by that they have no force transmission. They do not transmit force to the skeleton, to the skeletal system. And why? Because they're not connected to the force-generating muscular uh, contractile protein, that muscle tissue. So they cannot be used for force transmission. But what they can be used for is stabilizing. So in the case of the example I've just shown you here, this is to stabilize the knee joint and prevent this kind of movement in this direction. I guess we could call that kind of some kind of abduction. We do not want that at the knee, so therefore the, the, the ligament stabilizes. Now I want to give you a couple of examples, a couple of examples here, examples, and I think it would be really great to talk about the cruciate 
Okay, there's a pair of ligaments on the inside of the knee cavity, actually. You may know them as the anterior and the posterior cruciate ligaments. They actually, and they're interesting ones. So they're inside the knee joint, and they actually cross like this, the anterior one at the front, the posterior one at the back. Those cruciate ligaments help the, the, the knee joint. I mean, if I was to sort of sketch them over here, you, if this was sort of all reve revealed, they would kind of be like here. I haven't drawn that very, I'll do it better on this side. Uh, it would kind of be here inside the, 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 the actual synovial cavity and they would stabilize that joint and prevent that kind of joint doing anything but flexing and extending. We've also got what we refer to as lateral or medial ligaments. Now start to think about the words lateral, I'm not going to get into it in detail, but lateral means on the outside of the body, so we'd have some here, okay, for example, and medial means on the inside side of the body, so that would be, or, or the inner side facing inwards. So this would be the medial side, so we, we often refer to lateral and medial ligaments. And I'm going to mention one other, but I think it's quite an interesting one. It's called the labrum. I'm not going to get into too much detail here. I don't think it's uh, anything you need to worry about for this level. But the labrum, just, just to let you know, if we were to think about the very top of the femur, I'll just, I'll just sort of sketch it in here. The very, the very top of the femur, the femur kind of juts off and makes its ball to go into the hip, right? You could probably seen that. Well, the labrum is actually, so if we sort of sketch very badly the kind of the hip cavity here, the labrum actually connects here to here. It connects the, the femur to the pelvis itself. So it's an interesting example, just in case you want to be able to give one, because it's quite unique. Cheers.